Hi people, I am AJ and welcome to the tutorial how to explore a Segway file. Okay, in the last video I'll, I showed you how to download the repository that contains the toolkit to perform Segway uh, file headers manipulation. So now I'm going to show you how to compile the first useful command that you will need and it is located in the first folder. The name of that command is this display trace header limited. So I'm going to compile to compile it. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's ready. So now we have an executable file uh, which is in green, this one, and we are going to copy this file to the same folder in which the Segway file is located. We are going to move until that folder. Fine. Now we have the Segway file and the command in the same folder. So we are going to use, and it is very used to, very easy to use. First, we write the co the executable command. The first parameter is the Segway file. The second parameter is the starting trace and the last parameter is the ending trace. In this case, I'm going to use 10. So now we have this list. We have here the Segway file name, the first and the last trace number, the number of samples. And in this list, each row is related to each trace. For example, for the first trace we can see that the sequential number of the trace in the line is 1, the sequential number of the trace in the file is 1, it is the CDP number, it is the sequential number in the CDP, the CDP fold, the offset, X coordinate, Y coordinate, inline number and cross line number. So, it's useful to explore all the seismic data. Oh, sorry. So we can check all the seismic traces main headers using this command. But also we can see the reverse list and we can do that in the following following uh, command with the following command. I want to see the last uh, 100 traces in a reverse list so I'm going to write minus 100 and 0 and we can see that we are starting now not in 1 in the first trace but but instead we are starting in the 506 trace sequential trace so um, in this way you are able to explore the Segway file um, in detail the main headers of the trace and I know that sometimes it is useful to perform some quality control about the Segway file and it will be useful for you if you are a seismic interpreter or seismic or if you are working on seismic processing. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.